Okay, we're ready to start working on our next page, and I'm going to be making an envelope. This envelope right here is from the Wild Card Cricut cartridge, so we're going to be using, let's see, where is it? So I hit the shift key in the blackout feature, and we're going to be using this envelope right here. And then I also am going to cut out the liner for this, and that's this one right here. Okay, so I cut these out at four and a half inches, and this is all we're going to be using from the Cricut on this page, so let's get started. Okay, so I have my envelope and my liner cut out, but the first thing I want to do is I'm going to be working with my page, and I'm going to use a piece of red cardstock, wherever I put it, there it is, and I'm going to cut this down to, this should already be at two inches, but just to be sure this is my right piece so yeah that's two inches alright so this is about four and a quarter by two inches I'm gonna take my ABC one two three punch and I'm going to punch out a little border on this and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with it I also have my hot glue gun heated up now too because we're gonna adhere this down we want to make sure it's adhered down the right way okay so there's that. I'm going to trim this down to one and a half inches total. So I'm just going to line this right up on here and trim that off. Okay. I'm going to take a piece of pattern paper and I'm going to use I'm going to use this pattern paper and I'm going to use it as a liner. So I'm going to cut this down to I think one and a half inches as well. We're going to find out here. So I'm going to cut it down to one and a half by four and a quarter because that's what I started with. So that lines up down there perfectly. And then I have another piece of pattern paper, and I'm going to use this piece. And I'm going to trim this down to, let's see, what piece, what size is it now? This is one inch, so I'm going to trim it down to three quarters of an inch. I hope. Actually, we're going to use this side over here. Okay, so that's going to go right onto here. So I'm kind of making a band. And this band is going to go right across my page. And I'm going to be able to stick my envelope that I'm making right behind it. So I need it to lift up a little bit. So let me just go ahead and put this piece together. I'm going to use my ATG gun for this. I'm going to line it right up on my piece of pattern paper here. Okay, and then I'll take this piece and put that right across here. So we have that down, and you might want to maybe put some adhesive right behind your letters if you're using the same letters as I am. Alright, so that's going to go right across the front of my book. I'm going to first start putting together my envelope, and I already went ahead and did all the score lines for this, so I'm going to go ahead and put this together. For my liner, I'm just using that adhesive right at the top. I'm going to put this right in here. And then we'll go ahead and adhere our envelope closed. So I'm going to put my adhesive right on this piece right here. I'm 
and then we'll fold that over and then we have our bottom piece <coughs> and that's going to go like that okay so I'm going to make a little tag to go in here it's going to be like a photo mat with journaling on the back so I'm going to do my journaling stamp here and I'm going to use some black ink on this so let me just get my black ink out I'm just going to go ahead and ink this up I don't need to ink the whole thing I'm just going to ink one side of it and then I'm going to take my piece of cardstock let me get a piece of scrap paper and I'm going to put that down and I'll take my piece of scrap paper over the top of it just like that so that's going to give me some journaling lines right on the back of my tag so isn't that cool? I'm going to put this away clean up my stamp really quick before I forget. I just left this right on the on the acetate. I didn't even bother taking it off. Okay, and then for the front of this, I'm going to put my pattern paper, and that's going to be my little mat. And I can add a photo there if I want. So I'm just going to adhere that down. And that's going to go right in the center of there. And then this will fit perfectly inside of my envelope. Just like that. So what I'm going to do now is just take my crop dial and I'm going to use the smaller setting, which is the 1 8 setting. I'm going to punch a hole right in the center of my envelope. And then I'm going to take this brad and poke that right in there just gonna make that nice and flat and when I find my my uh, velcro I'm gonna velcro this closed but I'm not gonna worry about that right now because I don't know where my velcro is okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is this is gonna go right on the front of my book here and I want it to be centered and I'm going to take this as a band that's going to go right across my book so I'm just going to add some hot glue to one side and then I'm going to adhere that right to my book now I made this a little bit longer because I know I'm going to have to fit my envelope in here and that's going to go back right here so I want to make sure that when I put my glue down that I'm going to leave enough room for it to slide in and out so I'm just going to go ahead and add my glue try not to get it on your book or your envelope that you just made Okay, so I just made a little band to slide my envelope in and out of. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim this piece off. Just like that. So that is our next page. Now I was going to put something right across here and I might maybe put a white square or something to write some journaling or something like that. Or I just thought of something I can use. Wait, hold on, guys. I'm thinking maybe I could put one of these metal pieces that I have from... I'm going to put It's a Boy right across the center. Perfect. All right. So there we go.
that's that page. And now we'll start working on the back side of this. For the back side, we're going to use our punch again. I don't know what this is actually called. It's not ABC123. That's just what I call it because that's what I can remember it as. Um, and I'm going to use the corner punch for this. So I'm going to start with this piece of cardstock. It measures three and three quarter by five and a quarter. And I'm going to start with my corner. And I'm going to go ahead and punch out along one side of this. And then I'm going to turn it and do the top side. So that would be that. It'll look like this. And I'm going to adhere that down to my book, just like so, right in the corner. And then I also want to take this piece of pattern paper, so I'm making another journaling page. And I'm going to go this way. So the first thing I'm going to do is add my adhesive to this, because I'm not really sure. I'm going to eyeball on how to, you know, I'm not going to exact measure for the, the pattern paper. I'm just going to cut it off with my scissors. So I'm adding lots of adhesive there. And I think I'm going to round the corner of this, since this is kind of rounded. So I'm going to use my crap dial or my corner chomper rather. And we're going to just chomp that corner there. We'll line this up right here, just like that. And then I'll take my, I think I'll just use my paper trimmer to trim this off. So I'm going to start with this piece right here. Okay, so that's that. But I wanted to give it a little something extra, so I think I'm going to take this piece right here and I'm going to tear the edge and just kind of mess it up with my fingernails a little bit. If I still have my distressor here, I'll use that. Oh yeah, I do. All right, I'm gonna use actually my distressor, make it a little bit even more. So that gives it a little something extra there. Cool. All right, I'm going to hear that down. Again, no measuring involved. I'm just going to adhere this down, line it up with my pattern paper, and then I'll just trim this off with my scissors. that's going to go right here. No, wait, i got to make sure I have it in the right. I've got a piece of thing stuck in my hand. Actually, it's going to go right here. I need to have my binding down in the bottom. So that I get it put right there. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that piece down. Again, I'm just using my ATG gun, my handy dandy. I think I'm going to need to refill this soon. So I'm just going to start putting that right there. Mess up my little torn edge here. And I think I'm going to add a couple buttons. I have the buttons here from the Blast Off collection. And maybe I can add this too. No, I'm not going to add that one. I'll save that for some other place. So I'm going to add 
think a couple of buttons. Maybe I'll just add these two buttons and I'm going to tie them together with some twine or something like that. So, all right, hold on one second. I'll be right back. I got to get some twine. Okay, so I have my little button here done with the twine. I'm just going to trim off some of these because they're a little long. And I'll go ahead and adhere that down. And let's see. Somewhere around here are my glue dots. They're here, buried probably underneath this stuff. <laughs> Can't find them. All right, so you can take a glue dot right to the back of this. You can also use your hot glue gun if you want to. And I'm just gonna put this think right there okay so that's our second page and let me just give you a quick look of what the entire mini looks like so far so this is our front cover let me just get these so they're right going in the right direction so that'll be our front cover and then when we open it we have these two pages so that's that page that we did the lollipop on this is the one we did the little mini album that comes off. Then we have our boy page. We have our It's a Boy page with the envelope that we cut out with the wild card cartridge. And then this one. So I think this mini is getting kind of thick. We'll probably end up only doing five pages. So because it's getting pretty thick now. And once I add pictures and stuff, it's even more. So, all right. I'll see you in the next video. We'll start page four.